This is video footage of um, Jasmine and Janelle doing the power snatch and um, I know I mentioned this on their last video regarding bar speeds and um, I didn't take a precise measurement in terms of how far the bar is moving um, however I do know that Jasmine's about two inches taller than Janelle so we're going to assume the bar moves probably about the at least the same distance if not a little bit further just based upon their relative body sizes. So what I did here is um, I'll, I timed each person from when I saw them move. Basically I look at their feet and when they started to put weight forward onto the balls of their feet um, that, that initiated their actual movement into the, into the ground and then of course moving the bar up. And then I tried to catch them when they got the bar all the way extended overhead from there. So um, if you look at it in full speed well, we messed up the timer there, but we'll try it again here. So let's let me, let's get Janelle first. Okay, so let's get her right here. And then she starts moving to the front right there. So we're going to put the timer right about right about there. Okay. So then we're going to we're going to take a look at Jazz and we're going to get her in the same lift and so let's get her same thing when I start seeing her foot rock to the front right about Let's put her right about there. So let's work our way back and let's look at both of them and see where they are. So if we look at Janelle and her movement, again, here, all the way up into position, and under where she catches the bar. So it puts her at about, uh, I'd say about 83 hundredths of a second, not quite 9 tenths. So let's see, let's just, let's put it at 8, 85 hundredths. So then let's go to Jazz, same thing. And then we got her, and so let's gonna put her at about uh, about 7,300s, you know. So 69, 73. We'll call it 7,300. So, so that's a good tenth of a second faster um, in terms of movement. And of course, this is not scientific. Again, I didn't put them on an actual scale where I can where I can measure the the, the distance versus time and you know all that sort of thing. But just you know, just eyeballing it. And just based upon their movement, so I'm looking at their impulse. So, and you can tell by looking at their feet. That'll that'll tell you when they're starting to move, rather than watching the bar. So, by based upon that, looking at their entire movement, and 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 again, the bar speed tells you um, kind of you know what their body's doing. But but basically, it's about moving the body. Otherwise, we can just pull with the arms and and drive the bar up. So. A full tenth of a second difference is a significant difference. And by watching the athletes do it, you can pretty much see where they are in terms of how fast they get up and in terms of how, how fast that bar moves. And so you can pretty much see right here. She's about eight, eight and a half to nine tenths of a second. So again, with Jazz, again, right here, and we'll get her at her zero. You see her right here. She starts to move. That's the zero right there. So even before, even before her body really initiates and gets the bar moving and then you get her going up and just just simply having the speed and that's the reason why we do this lift is because of the speed involved and that's what we're focusing on for the athletes is to get them up and get them under that bar as fast as possible and to put as much violence into the ground as fast as possible and if we can teach them to do that then hopefully we can translate that into um, movement on the track. Um, the whole point of lifting weights is basically two points. Uh, firstly is to make them strong and the strength aspect is necessary for things like um, doing your start or being able to absorb energy and, 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 and put power into the ground for jumping and that sort of thing. But secondly we, we want to be able to put impulse that means a fast um, um, you know ex expression of force into the ground quickly and that will help them for other things like you know high, higher speed running and that sort of thing. Um, the jumping stuff we do is done for the rebound capability when we're talking about maximum speed and that's a whole different you know whole different um, um, can of worms there but but just for the, the, the ability to be able to put controlled violence quickly we need to Olympic lift and that's why we do it. So hopefully this um, makes a couple more things clear for you and, uh, and, and then just enjoy.